This video will highlight the Tecla TEDS foundation analysis and design calculation to the Euro codes. Before running any calculation within the library, always read the associated notes which cover the scope, important assumptions and limitations and references. Examples for strip and pad foundations are provided within the library. These can also be used as a starting point for your own designs. The input parameters cover foundation details, foundation loads, soil details, column details and calculation options. A live sketch and a preview of the analysis results are also displayed. The foundation type can either be strip or pad. Once columns have been added, the foundation type cannot be changed. You specify the foundation dimensions and loads. Soil details are specified. You also stipulate the method to be adopted for the bearing pressure calculation. Additional information is available where you see an information symbol. Column details can be added. You specify the size and position of the column, and the axial and horizontal loads, as well as any moments. You can edit the details of the selected column. You can also delete the column if it is no longer required. A preview area is available to review the analysis results. You can turn the preview off, which allows you to make multiple changes without having to wait for the preview results to update. If anything fails, the failures can be reviewed and amendments made to the input. You can choose to undertake an analysis only or continue with a reinforcement design for the specified national annex. Once the analysis is satisfactory, you can move on to the reinforcement design. Material details are specified along with the design options. Design options cover concrete details, load factors and partial factors. You can review the underlying analysis model if you wish. A live sketch is displayed which shows the reinforcement, shear or moment for the chosen design axis. The reinforcement for the chosen design axis can then be specified. The preview design results area details the status of the design checks by indicating utilization ratio with a pass or fail. If anything fails, the failures can be reviewed and amendments made to the input. This needs to be repeated for the other design axis. If reinforcement is not necessary a checkbox allows the reinforcement to be omitted. Once you are satisfied with the input and preview results, you can specify the output options, including the output detail and whether to include sketches. Confirm the information and your design and the calculation output is written to the document. The calculation title, input geometry, loading details, analysis results, and design calculation checks are all laid out in a clear and concise format.